Give her back here. <laughs> All my stuff is here though. Okay, my How did he know like we have a tent? Holy crap. <laughs> updates as you can see hmm. so where do i start first of all hi it's been like a month since i picked up this camera to vlog i've been vlogging on my iphone because i just like haven't been in the mood to bring a camera around whenever i do go in public though i will be just vlogging on my phone i get so many crazy stares i don't know if you guys noticed but while vlogging on my phone i've been showing way more stuff in my vlogs like my vlogs are long but i'm also gonna pick up this camera whenever i want to do like selfie style and talk to you guys. This is such a weird way to start a vlog. Hi, yes, I have black hair. And that is because for Blood Queen season four, I will be rocking the long black hair. And it looks super witchy and creepy. And that's what I'm going for. Also, Snow White vibes. Also, two days ago, I became vegan. Everyone's like probably so curious what got me to go back to trying this I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate by saying this because the vegan community they have been vicious in the past But I am doing this solely because I have four autoimmune diseases and I do have a nutritionist slash chef She has similar intestinal issues as me and she's gone vegan. She said it's life-changing for her So I am going to be trying this vegan diet. It's day two of vegan I hear a peep Hello peepee -pee. Where are you? There you are. I heard a peepee. -pee. I heard a peep. Guys, she literally thinks she's a dog or a cat. But yeah, I'm trying it. Please don't hate if I like mess up. I wasn't even gonna tell you guys that I'm doing this, but I figured why not? Cause I vlog all the time. Like, I feel like we go through everything together. So I'm gonna keep you posted on this vegan diet and how I feel on it. And for those of you, I know a lot of you guys that watch me also struggle with autoimmune problems. So I'll also be that person to show you how it's helping and if it does. Um, but yeah, let's get into what I'm doing today. So you might notice that it's kind of dark outside that's because I'm starting to vlog in the middle of the day. Usually I start my vlogs in the morning. I actually wasn't going to vlog today. And then Colin and I came up with this genius idea. And I was like, I have to vlog this. So hear me out. So as you can see, we moved this side table over here in our living room. We are going to put like a little alcohol cart right here. Kind of like a little like fancy cart. Insert photo here. My best friend Emmeline totally inspired me. We have an alcohol cabinet in our kitchen and I don't like it. I want it to be like out and displayed with like wine glasses and just super cute. And I don't like the fact that all the alcohol is just bunched up in here with like other crap. Like it just, this is a horrible presentation to guests. So like the coffee bar, Bar, I want to have like an alcohol bar over there um, so all the bottles will be like lined up and displayed super cute Just like this coffee bar like my glasses are super cute and I really really want them to be displayed all nicely So Colin and I are gonna take a little trip to TJ Maxx or Marshall's. Hi peep Hi Hi baby bunny. Oh so yeah, shout out to Emmeline. She is so creative. Like, go watch her channel. Best idea. So without further ado, let's get our asses to TJ Maxx. So this beautiful, like, tree, whimsical looking shelf that Colin found is only $249. We could put like alcohol here, uh, like yeah. wine glasses here, really mixers like there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh my god. You wanna like wrap flowers around. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Let's get it. Super quick. It doesn't exactly fit, but I'm really excited. <laughs> this is so funny. Good job, baby. <laughs>
cocktail bar. I love it so much. So basically we're ready for a wine night. We have shot glasses, mason jars, and this beautiful like tall candle holder. We have mixers in here and then actual physical mixers. We have these beer cups, this is so Colin. Um, we also have wine glasses and we have like empty bottles. And then I put my little vintage books there with little cinnamon sticks. And then I have a candle going. This is Ashland pumpkin spice chai. And we have all of our alcohol. We do have to buy some wine. These are all just like hard liquors, but yeah, it's really beautiful. And I feel like it captures like the farmhouse vibe we have going. So yeah. I've never tried a vegan burger in my life really good. Right? It's good, right? Wow. Is there like corn, a bunch of veggies, and mushroom based. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got at TJ Maxx. So I ended up getting this big pillow because I sleep on the couch a lot when I watch movies and I just want it to be extra cozy. I feel like it's so cozy in here. But speaking about how much I love our house, I have to tell you guys something crazy that happened to us yesterday. I'm going to tell you about that later in the vlog. Holy crap. So I just opened a PR box from Glow Recipe. I was expecting this because I really, really wanted it and I have a relationship with them. And it's the new um, papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm. So I got a bunch of Glow Recipe products in here, but what I'm super confused about is that when I unboxed this, I got a Dominique Cosmetics the Latte 2 palette. Nowhere on the box does it say that they're collabing with Dominique Cosmetics and it doesn't even mention it on this little card. Usually it mentions everything that's like in the box. So I'm really confused. It's like nice and packaged. I mean, I love this palette, but like I'm just really confused. And I also got a Born This Way matte PR box from Too Faced. Look how beautiful the packaging is. So I'm gonna take off my makeup and then I'm gonna try out this like papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm by Glow Recipe. Your favorite. Day. Oh, it's your favorite and it's the next day. <laughs> and um, I have that story to tell you guys. I figured I'd tell you guys today because we were so busy decorating the cocktail bar yesterday. Where do we begin? So the last vlog I mentioned that Lily went to the vet and um, Gabby was like really sad. And to try to make her day better, I set up a tent in the like woodsy area of her back backyard. I don't want to say like I'm a witch or anything, that's like a really big claim, but I get feelings like all the time. And he was asking me like, even though we camped the first night, he kept asking me like every night after that vlog, do you want to go camping, do you want to go camping? And I just kind of always have like a really weird feeling, but I didn't know what to say. It's been like five nights of Colin being like, let's go camping again, let's go camping again. And I keep saying, making excuses like, no, 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 but I never told them why. The reason I kept saying no is because I kept seeing a man in my head. Like whenever, I, I pictured us sleeping at night and just seeing a man walking outside. Like I don't want to say that's like a premonition or a vision, but like I had some kind of weird gut feeling. Even though we live in a very secluded area, I, was, I just had that vision. So the one day I finally was like, yeah, fine, let's go in the tent was, it was during the day and that's why I said I would go. We went to go take a nap in the tent. So we weren't gonna camp overnight. It was just to take a nap. We love sleeping to rain sounds. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, it's during the day. I, I could sleep like a baby, like listening to the rain. Let's just go take a nap. Her older sister Alex and our friend Julian were um, taking a hike and they, like as we were walking to the backyard to go to the tent, they were walking up from the backyard and they were like, some dude's in your tent right now. Like, we're like, you're joking. Like, like that's funny. So Alex and Julian said, 
yeah, there's a guy in your tent. We were just taking a walk, and when we passed the tent, we thought it was you and Gabby in there, and we saw, you know, the tent moving, and a guy pops his head out, a bald guy, and he's in his, like, 20s, maybe, like, late 20s, early 30s, and he says, hey, sorry, uh, you guys want some bud, though? And offer them weed. <laughs> At first, I thought she was joking. Me like, too. I didn't think it was real. And then we go over there, and he's gone, but here, I'm gonna insert footage. This is what yeah. we found. He's, like, camping gear and stuff. Did he leave? This is all his stuff. Yeah, how did he even know it was I there? Don't know. We found his canteen, his like wet wife beater. We found like a newspaper, yeah. pots and pans. Like only me. Like what kind of life do I lead? I'm screaming. Like a stranger is just camping in the yard. <laughs> she was shirtless. At <laughs> well, there's white t-shirts there. There's white t-shirts. There's literally like no, camping not. here. <laughs> all my stuff is here, though. Hey, my fucking tent. How the hell do you know it was here? That's literally she all of our blankets. It's really creepy because this is our yard. Like, how did he know? Like, it's just woods back here. How did he know like, we have a tent? Like, he okay, was all prepared you. with gear. Not to make fun or anything, because, like, I just feel really bad in general, because obviously this guy needed a place to stay. So, anyways, long story short, my mom comes over, as you saw in the footage, my mom is in the footage, she's there, and um, my mom was like, you guys have to call the police, like, there's, there was literally someone living in your yard, and I, I was against it, I was just like, just let him go, like, he obviously needed a place to go, but my mom called the police, and then the police, like, from far away in the woods, we hear the police say, like, Bethlehem police, put your hands in the air, and they said he started running, and then there was, like, some kind of chase going on. And then another officer came, and they were both on the foot chase with him, 15 to 20 minutes later, they came back with a tarp, I guess, that he dropped or threw at them while he was running. And they said, you know, he got away, but we're gonna take all this stuff to the station. Um, and you know, we gave him our information and we need, if we know. They said it was suspicious that he just like ran, like his instinct was to like run when he saw the cops. We're not gonna press charges, No, just I'm not gonna press any charges, I said, feel bad. I yeah, feel bad Yeah, they said the him. only thing that, you know, which is true, the only bad thing he did was, he was on private property, so he was trespassing. Yeah. But they said that it's a bigger deal now because he ran, which means he didn't, well, he had he something to run. Yeah. He did offer Alex weed, and I don't even know if it's like legalized yeah, it probably was the, yet. But yeah, but. I felt bad. Even though this is an interesting story, it's just one of the many crazy things that happen in the life of Fancy Vlogs. I am gonna be linking down below um, charities for you guys to donate to like homeless shelters and stuff like that. As crazy and bizarre of a story this is, like I really genuinely felt bad and feel bad for this guy. If you guys could just donate and help people out who need a place to stay, like please, it'll be linked down below. I know a lot of you guys watch these. If he was there in the tent when I went down to look for him. We would've just, if we found him in the tent we would have just told him to go yeah. take it and keep it but just not like live on our property my sister was like what if this is like one of those fugitive situations what if it's one of like the missing persons guys that they're trying to arrest like what what if that's why he ran but i was like i don't know that's kind of like very riverdale to think but um yeah that's that's what happened to us yeah shocker uh, so that's it for this fancy vlog i swear to god it just does not stop like the weird things always happen to me this time of year last year the vlog that i uploaded was that i got sea lice so <laughs> <gasps> oh my God. We'll see you guys in our next fancy vlog. Goodbye!